Good afternoon to the citizens of Odessa. This is Mayor Turner. I was just wanting to catch you up on what's been going on the last couple of days. Mayor, I mean, uh, Governor Abbott has issued an executive order. Uh, what this executive order does is preempts anything that the city of Odessa or any city actually in the state has done. Uh, we had issued a limited um, stay in place order and he came in and this basically overwrites everything that we had done. And so I wanna catch you up on it uh, just to explain what it means. What this does is as we've gone over in a previous video, the Department of Homeland Security has put out a document that says what is essential and what is not essential. Well, we had leeway uh, on the first draft of this uh, document, but they've issued a second one, uh, which actually expanded everything but locked everything down. So what I'm basically telling you is uh, we have gone to the next level of um, the community control. And we are calling this stay home, stay safe. Uh, this is a shelter in place order is what, is what some like to call it. In Odessa and in our sister city Midland, we are going to call it a stay home, and stay safe. What this means is there is going to, there are going to be businesses that are gonna be closing. Uh, they will be either closed today uh, or they will be closed by tomorrow. Uh, let me give you a list of the businesses that are going to close so that you can actually um, hear the list. Um, the list are gyms, massage services, nail services and salons, hair services and salons, tattoo piercing services, face or body waxing services, sexually oriented businesses, uh, our mall, theaters, skating rinks, bowling alleys, swimming pools, dance studios, city pavilions, um, basketball courts around the city, tennis courts around the city, uh, camping areas or RV parks um, will be closed. Um, restaurant, no, I'm sorry, uh, food courts. Uh, we've also closed the skate park and the CBD and vape stores are going to be closed. Uh, the other businesses, uh, many of which we've gone over in previous um, videos, will stay open by five o'clock. Uh, this document right here will be posted on the city's website to be able to allow you to read it, to look at it and kind of understand what's going on. Um, if a business thinks that they should be open, there is an appeals process, which is through the state of Texas. And on this sheet, uh, entitled stay, stay home, stay safe, we'll have the contact information or the website that you can go to and look at. Well, as citizens, I know you're scared. Um, I know this is concerning. Let me give you a couple of reasons why I believe this was done. Um, in Lubbock, uh, on Monday night, they had roughly 50 cases of COVID-19. Unfortunately, something happened, uh, details which I don't have, but I know somebody who was exposed went inside a few of their nursing homes. And they went from 50 cases to 100 cases overnight. Um, if this gets into a nursing home, it is really very detrimental to the older people that are in there. Um, there's also, uh, we may hear some big numbers come out of Amarillo, another West Texas city, where a child ended up inside a daycare uh, and just from not knowing that the child was positive, had exposure to 79 people. Uh, so the mayor, mayor, um, the mayor up there is very nervous about this exploding in Amarillo because right now they have 44 cases. Well, if they get 79 more cases, that's very scary. 
the reason I'm telling you this, honest as I can be, you and I as the citizens of Odessa, we are controlling how this is going to go in Odessa. If you're sick and you think, oh, I'm not that sick, I'm going to go to the store or I'm going to go do something, you are put your fellow citizens at risk. And it's not worth it. If somebody in your house is sick, the entire family needs to stay in your house. Um, don't go out. If you need something from a drugstore, maybe you need groceries, call a neighbor um, and have them go do it. And they can set it on your front steps. You can leave the money for them and go on with that. Also, the um, things that we need to continue to do, do not touch your face. Um, this virus can get in through your mouth, through your nose, through your eyes. So if you sneeze, sneeze into your sleeve. And only time you touch your face is when you know your hands are clean after you washed them or used hand sanitizer on there. Another thing that is critical is social distancing. Uh, one of the doctors get, told me something I thought was very profound. He said, you need to pretend that everybody you are around, with exception of your family, has COVID-19. If you go to the grocery store, you look at everybody in there like they have the virus and you need to stay away from them or you need to stay six feet apart. In the old days when we had the flu, the flu, you had to stay three feet apart. This is a lot more contagious than the flu. And that's why we have to stay six feet away. So please stay six feet away. There will be some more information coming out. Uh, I will do another uh, Facebook Live tomorrow to keep you up to date and let you know anything else I find. And tomorrow I will um, catch you up to date on the numbers uh, for around West Texas. But please, for the sake of your community, the sake of your loved ones, be careful out there. Be vigilant. I mean, be diligent that it's not going to get to my family. If you don't need to go out, don't go out. If one of your teenagers is driving you crazy, saying, "I just want to go over to my friends," I just want, don't let them. Keep them there. We have the technology for people to communicate, and that's going to be the way we're going to get through this. But most importantly, each and every one of you are determining how our community is going to get through it. So thank you for watching, and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Thank you.